video as promised I just finished my get ready with me makeup tutorial and now I am doing my hair this is my natural hair that I will be styling today I'm thinking about doing some curls or some loose waves I don't know we'll just see how it turns out I have my curling irons here they're getting hot I also have my um, I don't know what these are called flexi rods I don't know but I like the big thick ones um, because I have longer hair they work better <laughs> for me um, I also have a clip to help me put hair out of the way if I need to this is the only comb I use on my hair I don't use thin tooth comb I like this wide tooth this is why I believe this is why I don't get as much as much breakage and why my hair um, retains its length like it does because this is the only comb I use on my hair um, it just helps detangle it and if I'm not using this I'll just use my fingers to run through it and detangle but I have two yeah. different curling irons I have this one um, I don't know the size of the ferrule I think it's one it's either one inch or 1.25 I don't know I can't remember um, but it's by Hot Shot Tools and I got it from Sally's I love this and I also have this one it's by Andes and if I'm not mistaken this is a two inch and yeah I like to use this one for my bangs not really for the length of my hair to give my bangs a nice swooped curl in the front <laughs> this is perfect for that um, and like I said it's by Indus and if I'm not mistaken I got it from Sally's as well if not Sally's probably Walgreens or CVS and for, as for the temperature I like to put my curling irons my flat irons on the highest they will go okay I like it hot I like my curls to last you know so I turn it all the way up so this one is set on 20 which is the highest and this one is set on 450 and I do use um, heat on my hair I'm a natural but I use heat on my hair I'm not one of those naturals who likes to steer away from heat no I prefer my hair straight or like curls I rarely ever wear it in its natural curly state like if I do, it's probably in a ponytail or something. Not that I don't like my natural curls. It's just what I prefer. And, you know, I have no problem with using heat on my hair. As you can see, my hair has grown this long. So I must be doing something right. This cute headband is actually from CVS. I think it was about seven, eight dollars, probably less than that. And it's just really cute to put your hair back if you're doing your makeup or something. But now it is time to remove it. It's time to do our hair. Grabbing a piece from the back about this big and I'm gonna take this all this and I'm just gonna clip it out of the way like that and I just like to wrap the hair around the curling iron I don't I don't like to use the barrel and do it the old-fashioned way so this is going to create more of a wave and doing it this way is a lot quicker as well so I'm gonna just leave it on for a few seconds not too long okay and I release it and see that's our curl so I like to hold it and let it cool in my hand a little bit so that the curl doesn't drop too much. And then release it. And I'll go on to the next curl. Same thing, get a future section of hair, wrap it around the barrel. it in your the palm of your hand 
and let it cool a little bit and release. So that's how you do it. Okay, so my camera cut off while I was doing my bangs or in the middle of curling my hair. It cut off, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do my bangs. So I just take my curling iron and I just twist the curling iron and I bring it down going in a diagonal way and the curl just falls out of it that's how it's done. So I'll do this side again to show you how it's done. You do it the same way on both sides. You just grab the hair, twist the curling iron around and carefully slide it down in a diagonal way. So that you have a little body to your bangs. You don't want them to be You're going to let your curls set for about five minutes. You want them to cool down. And then after they cool down, we're gonna run our fingers through them, maybe brush or comb through, through them, whichever one I wanna do. Um, and then we'll see how the style turns out. Okay, so now that the curls have set, we're gonna just run our fingers through them and kind of loosen them up a little bit and tousle them so we have a little volume going on. So I'm gonna start with this side, and as you can see, just running my fingers through, giving them a little volume, separating them. You can also give your things a little volume by playing with them a little bit. use about two or three of these on each side and I'll wrap it around the flexi rod the same way I wrap the hair around the curling barrel. This way it gives me the same exact curls that I had before and in the morning I'll just take this out 
in your comb it again maybe put a little bit of cheese so confusion on it um just a dab not too much because you don't want to weigh your hair down and going on about my day um and yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe this is a new channel so all of your support helps um and i will be uploading